I'm going to show you how to make your very own dry mix for wheat bix slice and save you lots of time. For this recipe, you're going to need wheat bix, plain flour, white sugar, baking powder, cocoa, and coconut. This wheat bix slice is a crunchy slice, so kids love it. In a large bowl, you're going to crush 12 wheat bix. You're going to add four cups of coconut, four cups of flour three cups of white sugar. You're gonna add four tablespoons of cocoa powder and four teaspoons of baking powder. This is a big mixture, so you've gotta mix it really well. Take your time, this took me about five minutes. And I'm gonna store this in a cereal storage container that I got, this is about five liters. So transfer your mixture from your bowl to your storage container and then I give the storage container another big shake. To make the wheat bix slice, you use three cups of your mixture and you combine that with between 150 and 175 grams of melted butter. I used 175 grams. You're then going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla essence or vanilla extract and give that a really good mix. You can use either a Swiss roll tin or a baking tray. I'm using a baking tray here. Don't forget to squish up your baking paper so that it's easily maneuverable into your tin. Now you're gonna press your mixture into the tin. Mine was a little bit too big for the mixture, but I just squared it off at the edge and it's fine. Now you're gonna bake your mixture at 180 for about 20 to 25 minutes. I put this label on my storage container so I never forget how to make it. And once it's cool, you can ice it. I cut the edge off for my husband because he doesn't like icing. But me and my daughter do, so I just made a simple chocolate icing. Icing sugar, cocoa powder, milk and butter. And I couldn't help myself. I had to cut a piece off and eat it straight away. This is such a nostalgic recipe. I love it. And if you love it too, make sure you follow for more.